Hey guys, welcome back to the Films 128 channel. It is a beautiful day, and so I had to get out and shoot something. And there's this small train station kind of near me. Um, it ain't the greatest, but it's something I've never shot before. And I thought maybe some black and white film on the old eh, Zeiss Icon might be interesting. And purposely bought some 400 speed film, that way I can handhold through the whole thing. Uh, you know, not the greatest scenery around it. Um, it's turned into a very much a ghetto area as I pan this way. But what are you gonna do? So I don't know, we'll see if we can get some shots here. Something that looks interesting and I don't know that I want the ghetto stuff in the shop, but maybe I do, maybe it'll look good, I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. I'm actually using um, that Arista EDU film again, and I'll be honest with y'all, that is the most inexpensive but well-performing film that I can find. I look at it on, I'm sorry, the sun is way in my eyes, but the wind is better in this direction. BH Photo Video, that's where I get it, and $4.99 a roll, and sometimes they mark it down even lower than that. If you can do better than $4.99 a roll for medium format film, share in the comments because I want to know about it. But I think it behaves perfectly fine. I think if I'm going to go somewhere and I want artistic, perfect, I'm probably going to use something like a Delta, um, you know, Ilford stuff, Delta, HP5, uh, maybe an FP4. And if I'm going to do color, I'm going to do an Ektar, things of that nature, but Portra sometimes. But if I just want to shoot and I don't mind that I'll just Photoshop something I don't like, this, this film, this Arista EDU stuff, and I've used it at a couple different speeds. I think it's a great film. For $4.99 a roll, I think that's pretty darn good. And it's just not a paid advertisement for them because I don't get paid for them. But I'm just saying, some people are getting really, like, film's getting a little expensive, so I'm just sharing what I have found with a decent price. So obviously with the uh, old Zeiss Icon, there is no light meter. So we'll check the phone light meter. And uh, I think it's so bright and sunny that one check is gonna be enough. I'm not gonna have to revisit it a bunch of times. So let's just see what we're cooking at. I think it's gonna be pretty dang high. So if I do F22 towards the sun here. Yeah, one one twenty-fifth is fine. If I drop it to F16, let's see. And 1 200 or 1 250. I'm just gonna keep it at 200 at about F16. Should be fine the whole shoot. I wouldn't think there'd be any issue. Not exactly a riveting area.
Ignore me for a minute. Let me get myself all situated here. I might as well stop it.